In this video is a memorial lecture event held in memory of Nala, a Labrador who was owned by the boss of Tiwonisam Dogs World who is a dog and wildcat trainer. Nala was a therapy dog for Mr. Tiwonitaba and her departure is one that cannot be easily forgotten. This is the first ever memorial lecture held for a dog and in attendance were high profile personalities like politicians, philanthropists, chiefs, veterinarians, dog trainers, prison officers, police officers, dog breeders and owners and many other people from all walks of life. Hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exclusive and amazing dog content. Hello dog lovers, my name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger and if you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon and then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at GH Dog Blogger. This is GH Dog TV or number one dog TV for all dog lovers and today our current location is Achimota in the greater Accra region of Ghana, the GH Media School and today we are here for a wonderful event, the first of its kind. Yes, it's a memorial lecture or service for a dog, a dog that passed away, Nala the Labrador, owned by the boss of Tiwoni Sam Dogs World. So we are all gathered here, lots of, of top dignitaries, lots of dog lovers and lots of people right here gathered for Nala the Labrador. So we are going to check out some of the footages from this event and then also speak to some of the people that are present at this event so don't go anywhere stick and stay as we bring to you more exclusive dog content on this episode my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger stick stay and enjoy roles in promoting animal welfare and responsible pest ownership by adopting animals from shelters, spaying and nurturing our pets, and treating every living creature with the compassion and respect they deserve, we can and we will collectively make a profound positive difference. So we are going to talk about how to get the dog. Most of the time, we just uh, approach breeders, or you see a friend having a dog, and you also want a dog. That's not how to go about it. You have to know the type of dog you want, because when you bring in the dog, that's going to be like a family member. So you have to have a dog that you can play with. A dog that you can communicate well with, not a dog that you can leave at the back of the house to be guarding you, no. So, um, when you want to acquire a dog, a dog always comes with a book. And in the book, there are vaccination records. So all dogs you have vaccination records. We vaccinate for a purpose. There are diseases that can be transferred from the dogs to the human. That's why we do those vaccinations, especially babies. When a dog that is infected with rabies bites you, it's most likely you are going to get rabies. Rabies is a virus. Rabies is not cure. So the first thing you do is to make sure your dogs are duly vaccinated. If you get you, you acquire a new dog, you have to go to your nearest vet, where maybe you have a discussion with the vet, they go through the necessary protocols to make sure that the dog is healthy for you to take it home. So that in, in a week or two, you don't come back saying your dog is sick. It means you got a sick dog. Apart from the vaccine, now the dog is home. The dog is with you. You are also you are supposed to feed the dog properly. Nowadays, people come to the clinic and the first thing we ask, what do you feed? They will tell you the feed that I 
there is no food to eat. Too much carbohydrate in a dog's diet will cause a lot of problems. Their immune system goes down, they have uh, different skin problems, they, they even have different walking problems. So what we advocate is you try and uh, increase the protein content of your dog's food. Because in the wild, the dog doesn't eat dry. I just want to say a thank you to Samuel and all the people that have come here and joined him to support him for this very occasion. Like I said, I've never been to an event for an animal. This is the first time and I will put that in my book. And it took all of you to make this happen. All of you. So your support is truly appreciated. I'm thanking all of you on behalf of Samuel for supporting me. And I want to say that whatever Samuel is doing, I also pray for him. That may the good God keep lifting him up, giving him strength, knowledge, wisdom to keep going. And whatever he wants to do for this country, I pray that God grant all those desires. Thank you very much. Thank you. We gather here to commemorate the remarkable life and legacy of Nala, a Labrador who holds a special place in our hearts. Nala's journey began on the 28th of August 2019, when she entered our lives with the purpose of becoming the best, most obedient trained dog, and at least blessing us with puppies since she was a she was a female. Nala's training journey was nothing sort of extraordinary. She displayed a lot of education and remarkable ability to learn and adapt. Through rigorous training and countless hours of hard work, myself and my team managed to train Nala to do a lot of things that were so amazing to the world. Unfortunately, our life, our hopes. Nala was not able to fulfill one of our wishes, which was to leave to deliver puppies for us to sell and make money. But she covered the other side, which was the love and the healing that she gave to us. Life often presents us with unexpected challenges. It was during such one of such difficult periods that Nala's true world shone through. I personally experienced a severe spinal issue. And those of you who remember 2019, I was down with spinal problem for nine months. And uh, if I put God first, I put the support of my family and the last one out there. The next I point my hands on was Nala. Someone will ask why. That dog was a therapist. She was a psychological therapist. And to express it, I mean, when Nala came into my life, when I had this issue, you know issue of spine, they said you can't wake up. Today, before, I couldn't go down this way. I couldn't wake up. I couldn't stretch this leg. I couldn't stretch this leg. Not at all. Now, why dogs should give us that psychological aspect was that I look at the bone that I had with the dog. Anytime she's with me and my hand is on her, it looks like the pain in me is no more felt. The pain that I was going through was no more felt. Because she's doing something that I might say, Nala, and she will smile and watch the tail and kind of try to tell me something. Now, when it comes to the physical aspect of Nala's treating me, I needed to go out for a walk gradually to strengthen myself. And walking alone was not enough. I must walk with somebody. And Nala was one of such. When I'm going out for a walk with a short distance with Nala, 
as we communicate along the road, now let's stop, now let's sit, now let's go. All these were things that made me never experience the pain that I was going through. And I believe strongly that this treatment from Nala made me be able to do the exercise that I just did some few minutes ago. Hence, Nala, my therapist. It's painful. If I say Nala is my family member, it's part of my family member. If you, are, if you don't get to understand where I'm coming from, you might say, how can Doc be your family member? I listened to Doctor's speech and I'm telling you, it was so powerful. That you should appreciate what this dog brings to you. When you treat them well, they give you much love. Love is reciprocal when it comes to our animals. Give it to them and they love you more than they love themselves. And that's what I saw in Nala. Just a few moments, Nala fell sick and we have to take Nala for a second. And after five days of Nala surgery, we lost her. So painful. <laughs> Nala's life brought an immense joy, inner peace motivation into my life and many others. Through her companionship, she taught me trust, patience, listening skills, being observant, being empathy, and love, which played a significant role in my physical, psychological, emotional being. And I know you are there. If you have your dog and you have that commitment with that dog, you will definitely harvest more than what I'm talking about. Now, in an hour of in an hour of Nala's memory, let's recommit ourselves to the mission of to understand dogs work. And what is our mission? To train and to nurture dogs to become not just obedient companions, provision of security services, but also our source of healing, support, and joy. Nala's story is a testimony to the transformative power of human and animal bond, reminding us of the profound impact that our four-legged friends can have on us. As we continue our work, let us strive to create a world where dogs are recognized for their immense contribution, not only as service dogs, but as a loving family members. Let us embrace their loyalty, love, and waving devotions just as Nala did for me during my dark periods. Thank you all for being a part of this special gathering. As you remember, I'm Anna and Dr. Kirsten. May their memory continue to inspire we all to celebrate and to cause healing to our lives. I am happy to announce to you that this lecture is here to stay and will be observed every year in God's presence. This um, memorial lecture is 
a very wonderful one. No one will believe a, a crowd of this has come here because of a, a, a loss of dog or a dog that died funeral, which has never happened. Yeah, I think this shows that we have passion, we have love for our animals that we stay with. So the number of people that came and the great guys that are in this program, I think it's not small. It has shown how love people are for dogs, but they don't have the opportunity to get educated, to know why they should love their pets or they should love their dogs. Yeah, and I think it should serve as a wonderful day for other people to know that when you have a pet or an animal in your house, it's part of the family. When it's healthy, the family too is healthy. When it's controllable, the family too is safe. Because I've been hearing some instances, dogs attack uh, the owners, dog, dogs attack family members of the owners, which I think it is all out of lack of training. If you train your dog, you even love to go to any program with it, because it's controllable, respectful, and I think that's the love uh, to Nissan had for Nala. Nala, could, if you watch on the screen, Nala could go to the street without any leash and walk freely with uh, to Nissan and come back safely. So I think it is a great job. You should keep it up. Yeah. Okay, so we are at Nala's Memorial Lecture, and I've seen this boss man right here. Boss man, welcome to the show once again. Oh, Charlie, I was very happy. I was very happy, man. Charlie, this is my first time attending uh, a memorial lecture like this. Charlie, I love it. I love it, man. Charlie, we need to we need to show animals love. Charlie, the love you give to your animal, the animal give you the same thing back, and they are very good. They are very good. Charlie, my first time attending this kind of program. Nella, Charlie, we love Nella so much, but Charlie, I think God too loves her more than we do. So we see Nella, rest well. Charlie, we're still here, we're still here. This is the first of its kind, and that we are hoping to see more of this in the dog community. Yes, you know, we are hoping up to see more of this kind of shows, and more of this kind of memorials. Because, Charlie, Mr. Sam has teached us a lot about dogs, and I don't even know what I don't even know what to say. But I think the only thing I can tell you is that you get a dog, you treat the dog good, you also treat you good. Don't just get the dog and put it at, a, at your backyard for the dog while using the dog as a security, just like that. You understand? Just show the dog love, and the dog will give you the same love back as you want. Yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. That's the boss man, the boss of Allah Huagba Kabira Farms, right here. And he has this beautiful boa boy. Today he came for the Nala Memorial Lecture with this huge boy right here. Boss man, quick one before I ask my, my, my final question and then I leave you to go. Um, can you tell us the details about this beautiful dog? I'm sure my, do my dog lovers will forgive me if I don't ask of the name and all. <laughs> this Grand Salam. Grand Slam. Yeah, this Grand Slam. This I, Grand think Slam. I've, I think I've met with this dog before in yeah, Takra yeah, Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I bought, I bought Grand Slam from Uncle King. Yeah, it's a very good dog and I love the dog. Trust me. I never regret buying this dog. Ah, Charlie, what a dog. <laughs> nice one. Now, um, before I leave you to go, I'd like you to drop out, drop out your contact details, social media, those those things, just in case a quick one, maybe somebody wants to link up, you know. Oh, you can contact us on Allah Akbar Kabira Kennel. Our contact is 024-50-2001. We are, you can even watch up us. Yeah, that's the contact. So just, Charlie, me, all I say is that, get a dog. Yeah, get a dog. Get a dog. And you never regret in getting one, because, Grand Slam being here, trust me, I've never regret buying Grand Slam. I love him so much. 
I saw a dog lovers. We just spoke to the boss of Allah Wagba Kabira Farms and he came to Nales Memorial Lecture with Grand Slam the boa bull right here a very huge dog beautiful dog right here dog lovers just have a look at this beauty wow okay my name is monica aj yes and i came all the way from uh, a shaman yes to witness the uh, program here and to learn more about dogs how to treat them how to carry them about and how to keep them in our homes too yes and how to feed them well and foods to give them and food not to give them yes this is very very deep so how did you come across this event oh i came across this event through a Tiwonisam dog world yes i came to visit my sister at school and i uh, i got to know about the place and uh, so far as I'm a lover of dogs, I saw the shop and I was like, oh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to get one. So I came back and I got one and uh, probably I lost him. I lost him, so he had a virus, so I lost him. So he invited me to this program to come and learn more about them since I have no knowledge about them. So I should just come and learn more so that next time when I get another one, I'll know how to treat him or how to uh, keep him home and keep him safe too. This has been the first memorial lecture ever to happen in Ghana. How, how did you see the program, the turnout and everything? Oh, it was interesting. I love the program. I enjoyed the program. And I met a new friend. Say hi. I met a new friend. So I'm very excited to be here. And I wish this program will happen like every year so that I'll be here to learn more, have more knowledge about friends, dogs, yes. So, so before I leave you to go, I'd like you to look into our cameras and just tell my dog lovers something, the beauty about dogs. Hey, all dog lovers, please, I'm encouraging you that uh, these dogs here, we see around us are our friends, they are our best friends, and they are accompanying us in everything that we do. Yes, so even uh, if, let's say for instance, uh, there's something going to happen. A dog is able to tell you there's something going to happen and you feel it. That something is going to happen. This dog's reaction that I'm seeing, there's something going to happen. So let's let's see them and let's not be afraid of them. Let's make them our best friends and a part of our family too. That's the advice I have for all dog lovers. Wow, that's Kay the Trainer right here. Kay the Trainer right here at Nales Memorial Lecture with this beauty right here. Bossman, welcome to the show once again. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. It's an honor. I think the last time I actually met with you mm -hmm. was in 2020 at a dog walk. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been a minute, definitely. Fantastic. So, coming to Nales. Um, okay. 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 All right, dog lovers. I still have Kay the trainer right here. We are at Nales Memorial Lecture. So, Bosman, coming to this uh, memorial lecture, this is the first of its kind. How, how do you see the whole event and everything? I am absolutely impressed. I didn't know what I was expecting. You know, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But when I saw the people trooping in, I'm like, okay, now this is something. You know, I really didn't expect a lot of people to come through. When I heard the names, I was like, mm, I'm wondering how that's going to work out. But I mean, everybody pulled up, everybody showed love for the dogs and it's absolutely mind-blowing and very inspirational to myself because I have plans of doing like a lot with dogs, you know. So seeing that people are actually gravitating towards the vision is, is, is very inspiring to me. It makes me feel like, okay, whatever it is I want to do, it can actually come through, you know. So Tiwoni Shum, I, I mean, he's been, he's been an inspiration. He's been an inspiration. People like Kenneth pulling up, all of these guys are the OGs. They're the ones who paved the way. Seeing them do stuff like this means we can also get there. And we're aiming for higher. Big shout outs to the boss man of Tiwoni Sam and Kenneth Singa, Mr. Awono, all the all the trainers, everybody if you're watching and you're a trainer, big shout outs to you, boss man. Boss man and you 
you think that there's good publicity for dogs and then um, also such events should also be going on and all? Most definitely, most definitely. In fact, um, I feel like these things are very rare, you know. People are scared about what the turnout is going to be like. But trust you me, seeing this tells me that anything is possible. You know, I have plans of creating other events. I want to do like weekend dog parks because the people who live with like one dog, they want to have multiple or they, they just can't have multiple. But they like for their dogs to exercise and all of that. You know, they like to take them to a park where people can actually take care of them and stuff like that. And I'm planning to do, you know, things like that. So seeing this happen, it tells me that anything is possible. Most of these events are not enough. Because if they are, I, I, I believe that people are going to pull out. Like, I mean, you should have seen the crowd. Everybody was here. The whole of Ghana was here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, the whole of Ghana was here. Trust me, it was it was full and people loved it. At a point when uh, Mr. Tiwoni Sam was talking about his late dog, Nala, he cried. For people who are not dog people, they're going to be like, ah, why is he crying over a dog? Tell them what's special about dogs. Okay, so I've lost a dog before and that was the most painful. I'm Cordelia. Her husband was Shanice, by the way. Shanice passed on three days after she died. She, he died out of depression. He wouldn't eat anything. He just misses his girl so much. Funny part of the story is that this wife of his is his sister, but he decided to impregnate her. Dogs, you know? Yeah, so I lost that dog, and that day when we went to church, it was a Sunday, so when we went to church, half the church was mourning with us because I'm the bubbly guy. <laughs> but that day at, at, at the place, it was like, okay, now this guy's off so the people who were close to me came by asked me what was happening we told them cordelia is dead and everybody knew my dogs by name so the moment i said cordelia is dead everybody was like oh everybody broke down you know so i definitely understand this pain in fact it's one of the main reasons why i showed up i only saw this thing yesterday i only saw this yesterday so i had to like switch up my plans to make it possible to be here because i mean i definitely feel this pain you know so yeah you have to you have to live with one of them or multiple before you can understand what it is yeah yeah man so you, you heard it from k the trainer right here k the trainer now before I, I let you go my my dog lovers won't forgive me if i don't ask of the name of this dog and all of that such a beauty so would you want to know the backstory behind her name or just a name anything you want to say so her name is oxy right basically oxy the first part of oxygen so i had her um, with six other puppies but they all came down with something yeah it was tick fever i didn't know much about stuff like that so i had it and then i had tick fever and then it came down with six of my dogs and she was the only one that turned out fine from birth this guy had so much energy yeah like i had never seen some before and so i felt like she was my oxygen and when i lost six puppies man that one was like painful you know and she was there so I just decided that she was my oxygen at the time. She's always going to be my oxygen. Oxygen sounded a bit creepy. <laughs> so I just named her Oxy. And every time I mention her name, I remember the memories. And she's been awesome. She's been awesome, man. She's my girlfriend. So all the girls looking. <laughs> she's my girlfriend. <laughs> nice one. That's Oxy right here. Beautiful female right here with Boss by K, the trader. Boss, before I, well, I let you go, go about your social media handles and all that. Right. You can, you can look out for me at K, the trainer on Instagram um, or Wax and Barks Canine Complex. Yeah. Um, on TikTok, is K, the trainer. Everywhere else is K, the trainer. Um, K underscore the underscore trainer. Mostly that's where it, how it is everywhere. Yeah. And my number to reach me on is 0246. 437-431 I repeat 0246-437-431 I don't only run um, dog training service I run a dog boarding service as well and there is many many more coming up in the near future fantastic dog lovers I just spoke to K the trainer and he was also here to support his fellow dog trainer at Nales Memorial Lecture isn't this beautiful thank you so much bossman for letting us have you Thanks, man. It was it was great. Okay, so I've met with this boss man right here. He happens to be a vet student, but man, trust me, he's mostly at every dog show. And I think you're on social media, on Instagram as the Caveman Vet, right? 
Yes, please, the caveman vet. Can you tell us about the caveman vet? It seems you, you put a lot of posts and all of that. Okay, so the caveman vet is basically um, a page where I just post about dogs every week. So I take a dog breed and post about it. It's just some basic background information about the dog. Usually, most people come to me asking me they want to get a dog, but I don't know what breed to go in for. So the caveman vet is basically an educative platform where I educate the general public about dogs, right? So we start from the small breeds to medium breeds to the large breeds. So on my page on Instagram, right, I showcase various dogs and I put on the why you should get that dog as a breed. So we are looking at your amount, the money you have available, the, the, the dedication you can offer to the dog and other, other various factors. All right, so that's basically what the caveman vet is about. The caveman vet, I beg. Go follow him up on Instagram. He's doing awesome. And today you are right here at Nales Memorial Lecture. How do you see this event? This is the first of its kind. When we were sharing the flies, people didn't really understand the concept. But you coming witnessing it, share, share, share it with my dog lovers. So it was, it was, it was mind blowing actually. I wasn't expecting this. This is actually said the very first time that um, a memorial program was organized for a dog, and this is Ghana's first. It's a, something that is beautiful it was very very beautiful i was mind blown and i'm very sure that there's more of this to come so yeah nice one, boss. now before i leave you to go as a student vet tell my dog lovers something t t tell them give them a tip something health related and all of that let them have it for themselves so first of all you have to know the kind of dog you want to go in for as i said earlier on right have a background information about the dog you are not just looking out for a dog because it's cute. The question you should ask yourself is, is your pocket as cute enough as a dog? So we are looking at money that you would take care of the dog with and time that you're going to invest with the dog. Have in mind that various dogs have various needs. Some dogs are more energetic. Some dogs need more exercise, right? So aside that exercise physical factor, we are looking about, we are, we are looking at vaccinations. Right? You have to vaccinate your dogs periodically right you're looking at six weeks you're looking at eight weeks you're looking at 12 weeks puppy vaccinations you're looking at the women you're looking at various other factors that you you should you should consider before going in for a dog a dog is not just some creature you go in for and dump behind your house no a dog is a very lovable creature a dog can do so much for you if you don't have a dog get a dog it's very necessary Okay, so dog lovers, we've, we've come to the end of Nales Memorial Lecture and I'm right here with the boss man of Tiwoni Sam Dogsword and his wonderful team right here. You can see beautiful family right here. Yes, these beautiful dogs. Boss man, the event has been successful. Mind blowing. This is the first of its kind. How do you feel? I, I, I feel on it. To, and very proud of myself to be a... Um, as a proud, a proud Ghanaian, first of its kind in Africa, to organize a memorial lecture in honor of a dog. What I saw today is, in a, is a foundation of Africa rising up to call for, you know, an awareness for animal welfare and calling for responsive um, pet ownership. Talking of a crate creating a bond between dogs and their owners. What I saw today is going to be a foundation for us to take it out to the world. In Africa here, and Ghana in particular, that dogs should not be suffering, as, as owners are also suffering. Yeah, so it's, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself and my team for, I mean, this great achievement today is going to be in records that nobody can clean it. Proud of myself, proud of my team, proud of the Sam Dogs World, proud of all the media houses, proud of uh, you yourself, GH Dog TV, uh, for your amazing grace. You are a star in Africa and uh, we are proud of you. All what you are doing, people don't see it. Uh, uh, dogs to Dog TV. <laughs> Some people say Kramai TV, somebody will say it that way. They don't really see the value in, the, in them. So they can just call it. When, when I was organizing this program, I have comments that I'm, I, I, I just brushed it off. Doc, Doc, and Kramai. And so what is Doc? It's because they are naive.
to what dogs actually provide for us as humans. What do actually benefit from them? They are naive about it. So I don't, I don't get worried about it. Rather, I get time to explain to them what they should know and next time wouldn't say what they were saying. Yes. So we should be proud of ourselves and, 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 and tap ourselves back and say we have done a very great job. All of us as Ghanaians starting this in Africa. Yes. Listening to your, your, your story and all of that, a lot of people behind the scenes were telling me that they were inspired by your journey. And the beautiful thing I love about this is that the donation you're going to do after this and everything. And what I love most is when you said that it's going to be a yearly thing. It's not something that's going to stop. Yeah, you know, we, 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 we have come to understand that when, we say, when you do something and you, you leave it along the line, that kills it. I don't want this spirit to die. If this thing dies off, the name of Nala goes down. Nala is a foundation of this whole show. And Nala name should not be dried from our lips. The world should experience Nala. The children out there should experience Nala, even if she's not around. And the kind of education we are, we are going through right now is going to actually help to send information out there that indeed we all need help. Why this help? Help from other human beings, help from the dog, the dogs as well. If you don't have a dog, you are lacking something in life and it's going to shorten your life. Yes, a dog, I always say, if you have ever had a dog, a very, an excellent dog before, and that dog is no more in your life, there's a shortening of life in you. Because some of the things that a dog would have done to you know, to bring your BP level down. There's no more going to be there. It's, you know, dogs can cause us to have BP, high blood pressure, and die. Dogs can also bring our high, you know, this pressure down. Depends on how they are trained up, how you bring them up. And that's why there's always a need to get people who have knowledge in dogs, knowledge in animals in general, to take you through how to raise that dog so that it doesn't bring discomfort between you and the dog. Today, dogs are suffering. Owners are suffering. Who is going to help the other? That is why we have come as a mouthpiece to make sure that this lecture doesn't stop here. We we'll preach this, even if it's going to be every month. If I have the strength to do it every month, I will do it. But lecture is supposed to be done every year. And I'm trying to package myself very well for the next year's own. What we saw today, I'm sure the next year will blow the mind of the world, not only in because people are not really expecting that something like this will ever come to be. And so what we are seeing today, I'm sure it will be a signboard for those who, want, who are detaching themselves from this program, now bringing themselves into the program. Yes. Is that the boss of Tiwoni Sam Dog? So, boss, before I let you go, I'd like you to drop out your contact details and all of that in case somebody wants to link up with you. Yes, yeah, so uh, before I come in with the contact details, I believe in something. I believe that this, every kind of business that you are doing it, you do it to perfection. Don't, out, don't add blemish to it. With that, you are, you are automatically selling yourself out without even on advertising yourself on social media. When I am training you, Soluan's dog, and Soluan's is happy with my service. Soluan has friend called Mr. John. So one recommends to one some to Mr. John. And through mouth recommendation, we are good to go in this world without any other, you know, disturbances from, oh, and I got, that is why we, we need to understand that there are other, I don't want to condemn dog trainers out there, veterinary doctors out there. We have veterinary guys there who are acting as vets. But indeed, they are not veterinary. They have not been to veterinary schools. Because I've worked with a veterinary doctor before, and I know some of the medications, doesn't mean that I'm a vet. And if you're also a dog trainer, because you have worked with a dog trainer before, and you know how to tell a dog to sit, doesn't mean that you are qualified to be a dog trainer. That is why people are really suffering with their dogs. They don't want to, call, they want, they don't want to contact quality people, specialized people who are, who are, who are having the in-depth knowledge about the field but because they want everything cheap they go ahead to employ any other person who come and damage the personalities of their 
lovely dog. So yes, I am on, on social media, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and um, name all the social media. And my contact, simple, is uh, 0244 I mentioned the number again, 244 If you want to contact me by phone, this is what you need to get. And um, stwanitaba at gmail.com if you want to mail me to find out what your problem is with your dog. Sometimes people call me and someone just chat me on WhatsApp, chat me on, you know, mails and I'll address the issues to them via this media without even getting in touch with them. Yeah, so it all depends on the knowledge you have on the field. And I'm happy that God has blessed me with this and I'm, I'm not going to be greedy on it. I'm going to make sure that those who are ready to learn, to know about their dogs, come to me, call me. I'm, a, I'm, I'm available or to assist you raise up that dog so that you guys can be happy together look at this family my workers my 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 family all i am trying to instill knowledge i mean um, the love of animals in them so if you have your child out there you have your you know family member there and you you want to hide the knowledge to yourself what if you die with it what who gains from what you have we have you have gained it's lost so my young brothers and sisters who are interested to join the dog training, I train them. They all touch the dog, they know how to tell the dog to sit and to down. And I keep on coaching them so that together we raise up people with knowledge on this animal so that they will not suffer. If I'm mentioning they will not suffer because when your dog is suffering, you're also suffering. Do you know why? Let me explain that small so that we end our conversation. When you buy a dog and the dog shit too much in the room and you begin to hit the dog and push the dog outside you are causing the dog to suffer by suffering out there he's going to cause another suffering to you yourself he will dig the garden he will spoil the, he will scratch your car he, he will, sometimes people lock them in their cage because he says he's disturbing so the more you lock the dog the more he gets a lot of energy more energy is equal to more distraction and when you bring him out from the cage, that is where you know that you are, you are rather suffering, not the dog. Because when he comes out and he's causing his havoc, to him, he's actually exercising himself. He doesn't see what, doesn't know what is called um, uh, distraction. You can then tell me he's, he's destroying my garden, he's chewing my, but dogs don't have any knowledge of those things. So it is we rather who are suffering more than the dogs, because they are doing what's best to them. Yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. That's the boss man, right? He drop out his contact details and all of that. Link up with him, and he also owns a pet shop. Whatever you need, link up with the boss man. He's not just a dog trainer, dog psychologist, wild cat trainer. Dog lovers, I present to you the boss man and his family right here. Just check them out. The whole group, Tiwani Sam, dogs world right here. Nice one. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.